Yo plant friends, welcome to my channel, hope you're all doing great, my name is Maisie and this is where I talk about all things planty. If you do like this video I'd really appreciate it if you could just let me know simply by hitting that like button, sharing this video and or subscribing to my channel. Thank you! So today's video is a little bit different, um, basically I want to start doing more of these kinds of videos where I just sit down and talk to you guys about a particular plant and just share my experiences and my tips and advice for that plant. So to start off this series, I'm gonna be talking to you about one of my favorite plants, Senecio raleanus, or more commonly known as String of Pearls. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so this is mine. Um, I've had her about six or seven months. If I've got a picture of when I first bought her, I'll put it on the screen but she's just absolutely thriving, um, doing really well. I know this plant can be quite hard to figure out and I think people struggle with this plant. It took me quite a while to figure this plant out. I think once you get to know your plant, I mean like you can Google and YouTube um, about this plant, but I think once you get to know your particular plant and what it wants and what it needs and that, then um, it would just be great and I did and it just, clearly don't stop growing hey everyone i'm back it's been like two days since i filmed the first bit of this video um but just before i carry on and start this video i just wanted to say sorry for not posting and doing any videos in like three or four weeks this month has has been i haven't felt too great and uh, i really had to push myself just to do this video but anyway just wanted to say that, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is lighting. Now to me, lighting is really easy, but also really important. When I was doing research for this plant, basically they were saying that this plant can do well in low light. And like, I'm not saying like, no, that doesn't work. It probably does work for them, but I'm just going to be saying what works for me. And to me, lighting is really important for this plant. So I have mine in a self-facing window and ever since I moved her there she's just done absolutely amazing. I absolutely recommend putting your string of pearls in the brightest place you have in your home because I can assure you it will just thrive. I mean mine is even blooming which I will talk about a bit later. But definitely lighting is very important. Next is watering. Now I think this is what people struggle with but like I said once you figure out and get to know your plant and their needs then it will be great. So what I do is I wait for mine to fully dry out and then I will go ahead and fully saturate her with water. A couple ways to notice if your plant is getting a little bit thirsty is if the pearls are just a little bit squishy. So if you just go ahead and gently squish the pearls and if they're squishy or if they're looking maybe a little bit wrinkly or maybe if the plant is just looking generally not too happy, then you know that it's time to water. Another way to help with this is getting a moisture meter. Now, I don't use my moisture meter anymore on this plant, but just while you're figuring your plant out, then this is a great way to help with when to water. Stick your moisture meter in the soil, and when the arrow is on the two or three, then that's when I would water. Okay, now we talk about humidity. Now, there's not actually too much to say about humidity with this plant because in my room, when I'm not using my humidifier, it's about 50-55% uh, humidity in here. And this plant does just fine in that. So I wouldn't worry too much about humidity. Um, just, you know, average 45-50% uh, is fine. And finally is propagation. Again, this is really simple to do and I will show you. I didn't really want to take any cuttings from my plant yet, but I will just for this video. So I really hope you guys appreciate this. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is find the place where you want to cut. Pick the length, but remember that you're going to have to pick off a couple of the pearls to place it in water. So just go maybe a little bit higher than what you originally planned. Then cut. And then the end where you cut, just pick off a couple of the pearls, just gently twist and pull, and then place this end in water. And 
and you're done. It's that simple. Okay, now I just want to give a few tips on soil, type of pot and when to repot. So the type of soil that you use on this plant is quite important as well. Remember that this is a succulent so they don't like to be sitting in wet soil for long. So definitely make sure that the soil is well draining and airy so that the water can drain out quite fast. And this leads nicely into what type of pot you plant it into. So mine is a terracotta pot and this works great for me because this was one of the things that really helped it to thrive. I know that it's going to make your soil dry out super fast, like mine dries out literally like the next day or so. But, but if you can keep up with the watering then I definitely prefer terracotta over plastic pots. And finally, when to repot. So I haven't um, repotted mine since I brought her. And I would let this plant get a little bit root bound before I repotted her because these, ty these kinds of plants like to be a little bit snug in their pots. When the roots are start to... Is that my soil? Okay. My soil just came. Sorry, as I was saying, I'm just going to open this while I'm talking. Um, but maybe when the roots start poking out the pot or if the growth just starts slowing down, then that's when I would repot. Uh, I am actually going to repot mine very soon because <laughs> the roots are. The roots are poking out. Oh my gosh, I just realised I've got another string of cups and I didn't even show, show you. Yay. Let's go do that. Okay, this is my other string of pearls. Ugh. Flipping fungus gnats are everywhere. Yeah, this is my baby one. I got this one from Friends or Friends. I did show you this um, in my tour video, but it has grown a lot since then, actually. I just can't believe how well this is doing. Again, if I have a picture of when I brought her, I'll put it on the screen. But she's just doing amazing. Um, oh dear, this is the only thing with string of pearls, they just get so tangled and uh, the pearls fall off so easily. And here's my other little baby string of pearls. Ooh. So cute. And just carrying on with the repot thing, just remember these plants prefer smaller over bigger, so don't pot too big a pot. And then when you see your start and when you see your plants start blooming then you know your plant is really happy i'm so excited that this plant is finally blooming i've been waiting for this for months plus it makes the whole room smell of cinnamon so bonus and that's the end of this video I really hope that it's been helpful to you and if you have any questions or anything that i've missed please feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like if you liked. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye.